Well, let me go ahead and film what we got here. Shade tree has come home. I'm telling you what, we got some shade tree stuff going on here. What I got is uh, the traditional um, above surface irrigation system in, uh, basically on on three different uh, valves on four inch uh, sprinkler heads. <clears throat> and then what I got here is some shade tree stuff. This is uh, this is going to be subsurface irrigation, and this is half inch pipe. Uh, it's been cross drilled, basically like a cross, uh, top and bottom, left and right, uh, five thirty seconds through holes. And what I intend to do is run the gray water uh, through this whole thing. It'll be split into uh, uh, two valves, basically. Um, top half one valve and then the top half another valve and I'll use my auxiliary pump which I think pumps about 30 psi and uh, this should be this should actually cut down on the city water uh, that I use I will be putting out some I will be putting in a couple of cleanouts uh, down in the corner over there uh, for this gray water system it'll probably need to be cleaned out maybe every two three months maybe I don't know but <clears throat> I sound kind of strange right now. Uh, Aiden uh, brought back home the laryngitis or the uh, larin good gracious. So we are all sick. We are all sick. And uh, anyhow, I got a couple of guys helping me today uh, and yesterday. Pretty good guys. So what I did was with the traditional above ground irrigation uh, run three quarter pipe. Uh, and so when this uh, curb was poured here, I asked the concrete dude to not pour it so deep right there where I got the pipes going in. And um, that's where I got the pipes rolling around. And then the valves <clears throat> going to be right over here. Now, like I said, I brought some shade tree home or shade tree is home. These are the old valves, the old valves that I used before. And these are probably, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years ago, something like that. Anyways, they all need new rebuild kits. And uh, so I'll go get new rebuild kits and new solenoids. That together, I think, is like 15 bucks. New valves cost uh, oh, $27, $29 after tax. You better believe what I'm going to do. <clears throat> so, and then uh, when I get the uh, gray water valves put in, I'll show you what that looks like. But um, what I got going on here is these uh, pipes are all cross-drilled, north, south, east, west, every eight inches. And I got a guy over here, and his only job is to basically blow holes in this half-inch pipe. And uh, set up a jig for him, so it's just idiot proof. All he's got to do is just blow holes, and then, uh, as you can see, it just zigzags. Right? It just zigzags, so it goes out, makes a 90, makes a 90, comes back here, same thing, zigzags, zigzags, and then uh, I got one more run to put in, and then after I do that, then I'll take that, I'll take that pipe straight out, and then make a right about eight inches and then uh, put a clean out right there and uh, I'll put a 90 degree valve on that and then um, as I clean it out <clears throat> I can still water these fruit trees that's the uh, Satsuma that's that Satsuma it got it got hurt pretty bad last year from some deer and then that's that uh, Washington navel and then that's a, a old three-quarter inch gas pipe from the house that I pulled out, that was to the uh, uh, fireplace that I pulled out, and that's uh, acting as my stake right now. And then this is a, that little thing right there is a, uh, a midnight Valencia. Um, grows slow, puts out fewer oranges, but boy are they sweet. Boy are they sweet. So we got another day of putting pipe in. I know it looks like uh, cornrows, but uh, nope, 
This is California. So I am going to win this drought. I am going to win over all the water police that might want to come around. I will have championship tall turf fescue no matter what, no matter what. And again, this uh, drip line here, it's going to be using the, uh, the gray water that I'm picking up off of the, uh, the two upstairs showers uh, <coughs> that uh, is going into the um, uh, catch bins in the back there. And I'll filter the water before I run it through all this. But uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, so when, the, uh, when all the pipes are laid and then... Uh, and it's been regraded. I will not use the Massey this time. Um, I'll just go ahead and rake it in. Uh, but that was my my grading blade that I just put on the back of the uh, boom lift. That was the grading blade. But no, that's not it. It did have support. See that? Yep, yep, it did have support. Right, so this uh, actually C clamped onto the onto the channel iron on the bottom side of the of the boom lift, and it worked out pretty well. It worked out real well for what it did, what it, what I needed to do. It'd be nice to get a uh, a box blade, but at this point, uh, we'll just hand rake it in, reduce any potential for sprinkler damage and you know sprinkler head damage and whatnot. But uh, yeah, shade tree has come home and I'm telling you what this is going to work and um, uh, it's already been working you know that gray water system with all those trees up uh, on the back 40 there it's been working real good uh, we are accumulating about 300 to 350 300 to 350 gallons um, every three and a half to four days roughly so I'm estimating that this front lawn here, which is about 650 square feet, 675 square feet, will probably use uh, every other or maybe every third day subsurface irrigation, maybe um, maybe like 200 gallons, right? Maybe 200 gallons. So it'll be, uh, the system will be on a circulation, right? The system will be on a circulation. Um, We'll see how it works. Uh, you know, Rainbird does sell a product, and uh, but you know, that product it's kind of expensive. I think they get um, uh, close to a thousand square feet. Excuse me, a thousand dollars for five hundred square feet. And with the uh, the pipe I've got in here right now, fittings, uh, slip fittings, uh, ninety degree slips, I've got less than two hundred bucks into it. Man hours, uh, who's counting that? These guys, they're pretty good. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's working out pretty well. I think it's going to work out pretty well. So, <clears throat> you know, just keep on going. And and uh, we got some, you know, things to do here. To um, uh, This is going to be a little flower bed between the curb and uh, the little porch area here. But we got some things to do to make the pipes, you know, sit a little flatter. Um, so that, uh, when I dig down or Aiden digs down, you know, he's not going to pop these pipes and no one's going to be upset. Um, but, uh, I went ahead and, and, um, went in with all new Rainbird four inch pop-ups. The Rainbird pop-ups, they seem to be, um, pretty good over the long haul. What I find is the, the cheaper ones, the, uh, Orbits, um, uh, after about two years, even with high water pressure, the pop-up portion doesn't want to pop up. Something binds, and uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, it's probably that uh, rubber or plastic gasket that goes around the pop-up portion that fits in the body. But, um, you know, Home Depot, you, you buy, I think it's like 12 of them, and they're, uh, they're like $5.70 while the orbits are five dollars and seventy cents and there is no bulk deal on them anyhow you know this is uh all complementary to the new concrete that was poured <clears throat> so the, the concrete looks pretty good so uh i'm gonna get that turf in you know aid's birthday's coming up 
So uh, you can get that uh, tall turf uh, fescue in, turf type tall fescue, uh, get that in uh, before summer, before his birthday. So when we have kids over, um, you know, they can play out here and I can just hang out and not mind them in the backyard. That's kind of the plan. <coughs> so anyhow, uh, yeah, Laren, good gracious. That's what we all got right now. Uh, Aiden is uh, doing a little bit better. He uh, is not coughing as much. He broke his fever last Wednesday. He was popping a 103, 104 fever, 100, 103, 104 degree fever. So I just put him in the bathtub and, and ran some hot water, and, and he eventually started sweating, which is a good thing. Beatrice has uh, lost her voice, but you know, the junk show must go on, and so therefore, that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing what I can and, and keeping the junk show moving forward. <laughs>